Hi everyone, my name is Sophia. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing great today and I also hope that we can make you feel even greater with this exercise. Pay attention, precision is key and take your time. Let's start with your warm-up. A classic cat stretch is always a good idea. So let's get on all fours, hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips, right there. So what I mean by this uh, is that you don't want to bring your knees in too close because then your knees are under your tummy, not your hips but you also don't want to go out too far. So just a 90 degree in the hip and a 90 degree in the shoulder should be optimal. We're going to take a deep breath. When you're breathing out, you're going to scoop up your tummy, flexing your spine, rounding up your back, breathe into the position. And as you're breathing out the next time, you're going to extend your spine from one end of, one end of the spine towards the other and back to that neutral position scooping up the belly flex breathing in and then extend vertebrae by vertebrae stretching your spine both backwards and forwards at the same time scoop it up flexy flexy hold it and then extend stretchy stretchy Open your heart forward. It doesn't require a lot of technique for now. I don't mind how far you extend and how far you flex. Just feel the movement. We're gonna get more technical later. Just one more round. Scoopy scoop, hold. Really breathe into the center of the back and then extend. Beautiful. And now warm up is over. We're going to get to work. So we're going to lay down on the belly into what I call the basic position. That will be your arms on the side, tip of your nose is on the mat. Now be precise with this one. I do not want your forehead on the mat and I definitely, definitely do not want your chin on the mat like this, right? Because then you're crunching the back of your neck and we want the exact opposite to happen so it's just the tip of your nose now we're going to press the pubic bone and the hip bones down as much as possible if you have trouble doing this and you feel like it's really really difficult for you to push your hips and your pubic bone down it keeps popping up or you just have a little too much curving in your lower back how do you know how do you know if you do if you have any tension here then you have a bit too much curving now what you're going to do is take a blanket or a towel you're going to take it, fold it up a few folds, so then it ends up being about this thick, right? And then you're going to grab it and put it down below your tummy in a way that it is below these two bones here, your hip bones, but your pubic bone here is free. It's not under the pubic bone. So what that does, it will release your lower back take the tension off and you're then free to do your exercises without any unnecessary tension can you see that my lower back is a bit straighter this way i don't really need it so i'm going to take this out but if you do feel free to keep it there you're going to feel much much better right let me just smash that away so get back down in basic position scooping up the tummy just a little bit off the floor so have a little connection in your tummy pull it up just enough for a paper to be able to slip in there. Now, shoulders away from the ears, long legs stretching back, but they stay on the ground. Now, take a deep breath. As you're breathing out, you're going to lift your chest and your face just a little bit. Don't go too crazy like this. And then down, 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 down. Lifting, scooping the belly off the floor gently and then down now i would love you to do this in a way that you feel like you're stretching your entire body two ways from your waistline you're stretching this way and from the waistline down you're stretching that way so the whole time as i'm lifting and lowering i'm actually also working on my length Reach, reach, reach. It's never, ever, ever about doing this. This is not serving you. It's not functional. It's not great for you. 
So it's not about how high you're going, it's about how much you're stretching and engaging the rest of your muscles that are not your back. We always engage everything when we do Pilates. Now, another thing, like I said, this is getting really technical, so be patient. As you're lifting, make sure you're not looking up like this. No looking forward, again, because what I said after the warm-up, you do not want to crunch your neck. You want to keep the back of your neck long. And as you're lifting, lift through the middle of your back rather than your neck. Relax your neck, relax your trapezius, and lift through the mid-back, yeah? So let's try that again. Keep looking down, scoop up the belly, scoop up the belly squeezing down the pubic bone, and crack a diamond between your butt cheeks. I hope you were going while I was talking to you. I hope you did not stop. Just a few more. Breathe out to go up. Breathe in to return. You're doing great. Three more left. Focus on your length for me. One more. Length is key. Now I'm going to start lifting my arms at the same time as my chest. Lift and lower. You can see that the lift is super tiny, small. It's because I'm engaging here. And I'm trying to keep my lower back as relaxed as possible. Squeeze here, squeeze here, squeeze here. Do not squeeze here. You're going to feel the difference. Oh, sorry. Forgot my arms. Two more. Let's just add one more. Now we're going to add the next layer, stretching arms. Lift, stretch the arms out, bring them back, and down. Up, forward, back, and down. You can see that I'm not stretching my arms out fully. Why is that? Because if I do, check out what happens to my shoulder. I don't have the shoulder mobility, unfortunately, to go all the way forward. So I'm working with what I have, my restrictions. I'm trying to push my shoulders back, slipping my shoulder blades into my back pockets, and I'm stretching my arms only as far out as I can if those two rules apply, right? So it's not about how long the movement is or how much you're doing. It's about the quality of the movement every time. And I can already feel it in my lats. It's crazy. We've barely done anything. And my back is already so, so engaged. And that's what you want. Two more. I'm going to go up one more time, stay with my arms straight, I'm going to place them down, and then I'm going to lift one arm and my chest at a time, and down. Again, you can see that my arm is not stretched all the way, right? Not by accident. It's simply because I cannot stretch it all the way if I'm stabilizing my back and my shoulder, and that's okay. We are not perfect. That's why we are here today, right? Stay long, one more time. Now we are adding the opposite side leg. Keep scooping up the tummy. Ay, ay, ay. Squeeze your booty super hard here because you, if you don't, you're going to lift your leg too high 
Can you see? This is off now and this is working too hard. You want it the opposite way. You want this to work really hard and you want this to relax. So I'm gonna squeeze this, pull this up. Can you see how further down my leg went straight away? Right, so squeeze your butt before you lift your leg. Good job, two more. Good job. And now we're going to get into the swimming. This is what we prepared for, classic Pilates exercise. You're going to hold your tummy super tight, glutes super tight. Your entire trunk is working as a stabilizer for your legs and your arms. So you're going to lift everything. Again, super small leg lift. You don't need to go high. Scoop off the tummy off your mat. Arms up and pump, pump, pump. Pump, small movement, but stable. If I go crazy, I could definitely end up looking like this, but it doesn't look right, does it? So I'm gonna scoop, squeeze, and stretch your fingertips away from your toes. And if you're doing it right, you're gonna get out of breath, I promise. Come on, reach, shoulders away from the ears. Come on, you can do this, no giving up here, no giving up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and a 3, and a 2, 1, reach it out, and finish. Awesome, that's it, we're done. We're just going to stretch it back a little bit. By scooping up the tummy off your leg, you have two choices for your arms. Back here for a good shout stretch. Rounding up your back, or you could take your arms out to the front, whichever feels better for you. See, I'm so out of breath, look at me. Take a deep breath. As you're breathing out, sit up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Good job, thank you so much. This is all you needed to activate your back. You could do this routine every two days, even every day if you want to practice in the beginning. Just make sure you're doing it correctly. Precision is key, like I said in the beginning. And please check out my other videos for back, some more advanced, some beginner. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.